Dear students, welcome to the class. I am Dr. Tirupati, Department of Mathematics, B.V. Rajan Institute of Technology, Narsapur. In this uh, linear algebra and calculus course, today we are going to learn problems on maxima and minima. Let us see the first problem on maxima and minima without constraints. Let us see the statement of the problem. So, problem statement is find the maxima and the minima for f of x comma y is equal to x y plus a cube by x plus a cube by y. So this is a function involving two independent variables x comma y. So we and there is no condition on this. That is why this problem comes under the class of maximum and minimum without constraints. Now let us see the solution of this. So to find the maxima and the minima for any function involving two independent variables, we have to use the sufficient condition for a function to admit either maxima or minima is given by first order partial derivative should be vanished. So here we have to take first dou f by dou x is equal to 0. It implies we have to take the partial derivative of this function given function with respect to x here. So whenever you are differentiating partially with respect to x, y should be treated as constant. So here first term is given by x, y. So whenever you are differentiating with respect to x, y should be treated as constant and x derivative with respect to x is given by 1. Plus a cube is constant, 1 by x derivative is given by minus 1 by x square and a cube by y is independent of x therefore treated as constant and hence its derivative is given by 0 and you have to make it equal to 0. Similarly, compute the another partial derivative dou f by dou y is equal to 0. So this implies with respect to y you are differentiating therefore x will be treated as constant, uh, x is constant and y derivative with respect to y is 1 plus a cube by x is a term it is independent of y therefore treated as constant, constant derivative is 0. Then we have a cube is constant and 1 by y derivative is given by minus 1 by y square and equal to 0. And we have to solve these two equations for computing the stationary points. Okay. To compute these stationary points, we are going to simplify these equations as if you simplify them, you are going to get x square y minus a cube is equal to 0 and another equation is given by x y square minus a cube is equal to 0. So we have to simplify these two equations further. Uh, you uh, uh, compare the subtract one from the other, no problem, you are going to get uh, uh, this is minus, this is plus, and you are going to have x square y minus x y square is equal to 0. From this you take x y common, it remains x minus y is equal to 0. That means either you are going to have x y is equal to 0 or x minus y is equal to 0. Whenever you simplify further, either x equal to 0 or y is equal to 0 again or x is equal to y. So whenever you are computing the stationary points, either you will get the stationary points directly or else you will get the relation in terms of x and y. By using that relation in terms of x and y, you are going to get the stationary points. So first let us see the uh, relation between uh, x and y uh, into one of the equation. Let me label this as equation 1, this as some equation 2. Let me substitute equation uh, x equal to y is the relation into one of the equation as equation 1. We are going to get and this equation is given by x square y minus a cube equal to 0. So in that x square y minus a cube is equal to 0. In that we have to substitute x equal to y. So what we are going to get here? So x square is x square only, y is given by x minus a cube is equal to 0. So from this x cube minus a cube is equal to 0, it implies x is equal to a. When x is equal to a, we get y is also equal to a. Therefore, one of the stationary point is given by a comma a. 
is the stationary point okay so by using the stationary point we have to compute the sine of ln minus m square so here i want to make one more observation so we got earlier here x is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0 and we are going we are not going to take this case the reason is so if you consider x square y minus a cube is equal to 0 from this you are going to have x square y is equal to a cube so y is given by a cube by x square so as x tends to 0 y tends to infinity which is impossible which is impossible that is the reason uh, we are not going to take 0 comma 0 as a stationary point so we are going to take only a comma a as the only stationary point now by using the stationary point we have to compute the sine of ln minus m square so l definition is given by dou square f by dou x square that is nothing but dou by dou x of dou f by dou x it is given by x square y minus a cube and this is given by whenever you are differentiating with respect to x y is treated as constant x square derivative is 2x minus a cube derivative is 0 this is nothing but 2xy similarly we have to compute n n definition is given by dou square f by dou y square it is nothing but dou by dou y i of dou f by dou y so if you observe the uh, dou f by dou y definition previous terms we got here x y square minus a cube from that we are going to take x y square minus a cube is equal to 0. So again with the same argument we are going to treat x as constant f y square derivative is given by 2y. From this you are going to have 2xy and m is given by dou square f by dou x dou y. So in this partial derivative order of computation is from right to left. So it is nothing but dou by dou x of dou f by dou y. Its value is given by x y square minus a cube it is equal to. So whenever you are differentiating with respect to x y square is treated as constant x derivative is given by 1 minus a cube derivative is 0. So after computing ln minus n square we have to compute the sign of uh, ln minus n square at a comma a. So ln minus m square, l is given by 2xy, n is given by 2xy, total 4x square y square minus m square is nothing but y square whole square. So now we have to compute the sign of ln minus m square at a stationary point. So at a comma a, we have ln minus m square is equal to 4 into a square into a square minus a square whole square it is given by 4 a power 4 minus a power 4 it is nothing but 3 a power 4 it is greater than 0. So therefore we got ln minus m square is greater than 0 and l value is given by 2 x y it is nothing but 2 into a into a it is given by 2 a square so therefore l is also greater than 0. So from this uh, we conclude that ln minus m square greater than 0 and l is also greater than 0 at the stationary point a comma a. Therefore, from the working rule, we can conclude that the function f of x comma y has minimum at a comma a. So, by the working rule, we can say that ln minus m square is greater than 0 and l greater than 0, then f has maximum at uh, if it has minimum at a comma a and that minimum point is obtained by substituting a comma a uh, in the function function is given by x y plus a q by x plus a q by y here you have to substitute x comma y as a comma a so you are going to get a square plus a square plus a square it is equal to 3 a square so therefore f min at a comma a is equal to 3 a square so this is the first example on maximum and minimum 
without constraints thank you for watching in the next class we will see another example on maximum and minimum without constraints thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates